Hey guys, Vizerlo here. So, limited edition consoles have always been something that I've been looking into. I've never really been, it's never been my priority. However, if there's a limited edition console and I could find one for a reasonable price, as in like, when I say reasonable, I mean like MSRP, then I sometimes go for it. And it really just depends on the system too. If it's something that I know I'm gonna spend a lot of time on, then I am probably gonna look for limited edition consoles in it too. However, not every console, and the Xbox One is one of those consoles. So I have been with Microsoft for a while now, and ever since I was first looking into Xbox Ones, I was looking at different types of limited edition bundles because I like how a lot of them look. And still to this day, my favorite limited edition console is the Halo 5 Xbox One. I think that thing just looks really good. Plus the controller, that is just my favorite looking limited edition bundle. Well, Microsoft is once again taking the plunge into another limited edition console, however this time they're reviving an idea that was in December, and that was a 24 karat gold-plated Xbox One X Project Scorpio limited edition. I'm dead serious. There was a 24 karat gold-plated Xbox One X, and that was in December, and someone actually won it. And they actually, unfortunately, had to sell it due to medical reasons. However, it did sell for like eight thousand dollars, probably more to like nine to ten thousand, depending on where you live. So that's a lot of money. But this was in December, so you're probably wondering why I'm talking about this. Well, Microsoft is once again bringing it back, and in August you can finally win yourself a gold-plated Xbox One X. So if you've ever been looking at an Xbox One X, you might as well just take a look at this. So, this is a contest, so the only way to win is to have Xbox Live Gold. So, you do challenges for Xbox Live Gold, and you do these Xbox Live Gold quests, as they're called. And if you do all of them, then you can are entered into a draw, and whoever wins gets sent an email, and everything is figured out. And then, a 24 karat gold-plated Xbox One X is shipped to your house. I'll have a link to Microsoft's tweet in the description, so if you want to see what they had to say there. And there was also some people asking questions in the comments, so if you want to tweet some replies over on that and just ask Xbox some questions, they'll probably reply. But I sh probably should mention this now. It is not like a wrap. It is actually real gold. It's not. It's 24 karat gold. So I wanted to talk about this just because I wanted to share my opinions on this idea because it's very strange. And something I did not expect me to ever see, because, being honest, considering how much it would cost to make a 24 karat gold-plated Xbox One X, plus they did it twice now, that's, I just couldn't have never seen that. So, like I said, this is very strange that this is even a thing. However, I really do like seeing these. I, not just like limited edition bundles, which, limited edition bundles for collectors, they're that's for them and I'm I would don't know if I'd consider myself a collector but the main reason why I like seeing really expensive well not really expensive but like really bizarre things like this is because they're so weird that you can tell that the company behind it most likely and probably one of the reasons why they did it was because they thought it would be fun it shows that the business which in this case it's Microsoft wanted to do it just because why not they just thought it would be something enjoyable for them they didn't re i mean microsoft has enough money at this point so they just wanted to do something that they thought would be fun for the entire xbox community and for them they didn't have to spend tens of thousands of dollars on a 24 karat gold-plated xbox one x but they did it anyway because they probably thought it would be enjoyable and that's really respectable however that is just an assumption and Microsoft could maybe be doing it to try and turn a profit. However, if they were, then they'd probably be trying to sell it, but that's a whole different story. I can already hear you saying that, of course, Microsoft might have also done it to increase Xbox Live Gold subscriptions, which, that's very true. If you could pay 60 bucks just to be entered into a draw to win an $8,000, well, depending on where you live, X gold-plated 24 karat Xbox One X Project Scorpio limited edition console, You'd probably do it. However, it, of course, it's draw, so, you know. But still, even if Microsoft did do it with some of the intentions to do it as a subscription, they would not get that much money back from it. So, I'm 99% sure that the Xbox team, Phil Spencer and all that, they did it because 
why not? I mean, the Xbox community, a lot of people are passionate about the about these systems, and why not reward them with a contest, something that'll get them excited? And although I do think that gold plate the gold plate Xbox One X doesn't look incredibly well, I mean it does stand out, but it just it's not like as good looking as something like the Halo 5 bundle in my opinion. I just, I really love those type of bundles. I still think that a lot of people are going to be really, really excited to just get the chance to look at this. Now as for me, I currently, I used to be subscribed to Xbox Live Gold. I'm not now because I haven't used my Xbox One in a very long time, like a year, and because I've been moving and I've just never, haven't really been interested to play it on, well, in playing it recently. And of course, I'm not trying to say that I wouldn't want something like this because this is great. Of course, I would have no chance of getting it. But I just love seeing this stuff because it shows what Microsoft will do. Every company's intention is to turn a profit, well, for the most part, depending if they're a non-profit organization or not. Even so, it's still really awesome to see stuff like this. But as always, those are just my opinions, and if you have your own thoughts, please let me know them in the comments. What would you do if you won a 24 karat gold-plated Xbox One X? And if you're maybe not even into the Xbox ecosystem, what would you do if it was the same situation, but instead of it being an Xbox One X, it's a system that you play the most? Again, let me know in the comments. If you want to check out my social medias, I'll have them linked in the description. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and see you.